Hi, I'm Jack Weeks with GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in fluid power training, troubleshooting, and reliability. Today we'd like to talk a little bit about flow control, specifically the three factors that will affect the flow that goes across an orifice. Right? Now this is a typical flow control symbol. If you have a little bit of imagination, you can imagine a crimp in the line. Right? This is a fixed orifice flow control. A variable orifice flow control will have a angled arrow drawn through it, indicating that it is variable or it can be adjusted. Right? Now, most people understand that uh, if you open the flow control, increasing the orifice size, then that will increase the flow. But in fact, there are three variables that will affect the flow through a flow control. The first, of course, is the orifice size. That's pretty straightforward. The bigger the orifice, the bigger hole, the more flow goes through the hole, and the faster your actuator will move. Okay. Maybe not quite as obvious is the pressure difference between the inlet and the outlet of the flow control. If we install a gauge on both sides of this flow control, those two gauges aren't going to read the same, are they? The one at the inlet will always read higher than the one at the outlet, assuming, of course, that the flow control is, in fact, restricting flow. Well, the bigger the difference in those two gauges, in other words, the greater the pressure drop across the flow control, the greater flow and the higher speed. The third factor that will affect the flow is the temperature of the fluid. Now, the temperature of the fluid will affect its viscosity, how thick it is. Consequently, the higher the temperature, the thinner the oil will be, and the more of it can make it through the orifice. It's a little bit like if you like to have pancakes on a Sunday morning, and you keep your syrup in the refrigerator. Right? Well, you've got your pancake, and you want to put your syrup on there, and it's cold, it doesn't come out very quickly. Well, you have three options. One, you can get the steak knife and dig out the, the, the little nozzle on there, increasing the orifice size. All right, another one, you can manhandle it. Grab Aunt Jemima and squeeze to increase the pressure drop across your orifice. Your third option is to put it in the microwave and heat it up a little bit. Any one of the three will increase the flow in your syrup bottle, just like either of those three will increase the flow through a flow control, thus increasing the speed of your actuator. Now, if you found this tip helpful, visit our website at www.gpmhydraulic.com and learn about our two-part training process.